And the main problem with this right now is that I am against Empire units, and I'm not entirely sure how good they are in comparison to Kislev units, so this is going to be a bit interesting. Hello reformers and welcome back to War Sword Conquest. Now when we left off we defended well this castle from a pretty strong vassal actually, but we didn't do it single-handedly of course. We did it alongside two or maybe even just one of our allied vassals. Can't quite remember now whether it was two or not, but doesn't really matter because what we're going to do is we are going to try if I can to become a vassal. So let's just quickly take a quick look at the weekly budget right here. You can see that my mercenary payment is actually giving me a pretty sizable amount of cash. However, it is not necessary to have this to be able to continue operating our company. And so that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to become a vassal and we are hopefully going to have exactly what we need to continue marauding around the land and doing a lot of really quite, quite quite good things. Yes, there we go. That's what we want to say. Anyway, yes. Do I want to go for some more inventory management here? Probably not. But I am going to need to spec into some more charisma. I'm thinking we'll go for some riding skill here. I think riding skill could be quite advantageous to us because we are eventually going to be using and indeed riding a horse of some kind. I could actually use this right now if I wanted to, but at the moment I don't think it's really necessary. So otherwise what I'd like to try and do is participate in a tournament. Unfortunately it doesn't seem like there are any tournaments around at the moment, so let's actually just take a quick look here. I would like to learn some new combat skills by the way, so maybe when the new weekly wages come in I might try to learn the ignore pain skill or something like that. But anyway, let us see where... Uh, Prague. Hmm, that's not very good. Unless I'm able to sneak into the town and be like, Hey, Kislev people, I'm a, I'm a chaos guy and you're at war against us. Yeah, that's, that's probably not going to work very well, is it? Alright, so we do have a couple of things to sell here. I, As I say, I would have liked to have participated in a tournament because that would have given us just a little bit more renown, a little bit more space for units, and, well, obviously it would have given us much more money, but, oh well, never mind. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try and find, if I can, not Chaos Lord Breakfast, thank you very much, but I am going to try and find our liege, and we're hopefully going to be able to speak to him and become a vassal. So let us see where he actually is. He's in the field and he should be close to Ervik at the moment. Ervik. Alright, so let's see. Where is that? Well, I could technically look it up on the location, but I've already found it. There we go. On the location menu. Alright, so let's go over there. I am a little bit worried that there might be some Kislev vassals around here, so I'm going to take it a little bit easy when making my way over there. But if I'm not seeing anyone right now, then I think we should be absolutely fine. And hopefully we'll come across our liege very soon. Alright, so we're actually very close by to Mount Veneer right here. And I actually just love <laughs> uh, Mount Veneer right here. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, no veneer in here. Do you know that? Ah, uh, well, you, you gotta be you got to be English, probably, to know that. But anyway, it's, it's basically a, a furniture store and they, they sell things. It's oak. Oak only, no veneer. Ah, never mind, whatever. You're probably not understanding any of this, and that's absolutely fine. Warlord Archeon is right here, and we're going to be speaking to him. And we currently have a pretty decent relation with him, and hopefully this is going to result in him giving us a good fief. If he doesn't give us a good village, I am going to slap him so hard. Mm, probably not. Probably not, because he's, he's, kind of, he's kind of a bit terrifying, isn't he? A bit terrifying. <laughs> I think a little bit terrifying is just enough terrifying to stop me from doing anything like that. But anyway, let's just see what he actually gives us. You're giving me sock. Really? I wonder what kind of sock. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've now become a vassal, and that has deteriorated our relation with Sylvania and the Orcs 
to zero. So we are now neutral with them, which is okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. So where is... <laughs> Please don't... No! They, he gave me sock. He gave me sock, which is all the way over here. This is not good. This is not good at all. Uh, how am I ever going to get the relation up in, in sock? I mean, it has to be a very special sock for me to decide to do that. <laughs> oh dear. That is not good. Okay, well, uh, uh, this is not good at all. My ship is all the way over there because obviously I was running through the land and I just completely forgot about it. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, how am I going to get over there now? Oh, I guess we're going to have to go through Kislev territory. And, uh, uh, well, at least we get to pick our own banner. Isn't that fantastic? Hmm. Yes, that's very good. Right. Okay, so let me try and pick one that is not going to make me look like a fool because I really, as I've said multiple times, I'm not very well versed in the Warhammer universe. I only know very sparse details. And, um,. Yeah, that's... I mean, I could pick one of these. These are very much chaos, aren't they? I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm really just kidding right now. This is obviously pirates. Obviously pirates. Ah, these, these are more chaos, aren't they? Yes, this, this looks to be more chaos. So, should we... Uh, should we go for the eye on the skin that has been taken off? That sounds... Uh, that, that looks very good. Or, or we should go for this, maybe? Yeah, let's just go for this. Why not? It's red. Everyone's going to be like, ah, you picked the banner for someone random and actually not part of the chaos. <laughs> yeah, but I think we can change it, can't we? I think we can actually change it. Can you not? Oh, you can create a permanent camp. I didn't know that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I basically have not looked into the camp menu at all. You can, of course, see all of this. Ah, look at that. Reassign all of these guys to infantry. Thank you very much. Enable battle continuation. That's all very well and good. And yeah, that's that's fine. All right. So yes. Anyway, we're going to be moving through Kislev territory, and maybe, who knows? Maybe we'll come across a vassal that we want to fight, and that will be our first fight as a vassal of the realm of chaos. And you can see here that we are getting no rents from sock because is it a wool sock or is it a cotton sock? I I don't know, but <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. Uh, I, I find that too amusing, I think. I find it way too funny. Alright, so unfortunately, because even though we are a vassal now, it is still not making any difference to our maximum army size, which actually makes me a bit disappointed. Because I was hoping that maybe when I became a vassal, I'd have a company size that would increase by about 20. So I might have the possibility of fielding at least 80 units in battle. But that doesn't seem to be how it works. In Warsword, unfortunately. Ah, oh, look, look at that. It's Boris, Borislav, Boris, Borislav. You know, that fellow. Anyway, we do have Chaos Lord Breakfast right next to us here. And also, Boyar Marayir. Okay, Marayir is... Oh, look at that. He's going to go and fight Chaos Lord Breakfast in a naval battle. Well, I'm going to fight this guy then. There we go. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of amusing because we're kind of on the same level as each other so it, you know it relatively so you know what i mean so for example we have 65 troops and chaos lord breakfast has like i don't know 120 130 and he's fighting a vassal that has about 105 and we're fighting a vassal that has 35 so relatively we're kind of on the same level if we take into account only these two battles so <laughs> yeah, probably not on the same level as Lord Breakfast. We're more brunch at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're not a fully-fledged breakfast just yet. But I suppose we will be one of those very, very soon. I mean, you know, we need to have those cornflakes. Yeah, I was leading into that. Was I? Maybe? Yes? No? Ah. And maybe it just randomly happened. Ooh, this guy is riding a bear. And I'd like to take him out. Oh, Zahaz, you got hit by a lance, you imbecile. And now I'm going to get hit by a lance and killed. That's usually how it goes. Yeah, well, never mind. Everything seems to actually be working pretty nicely right here because literally, I mean, you've seen our units. We have Undivided Chaos Knights, Corn Chaos Knights. We have Chosen, even. We actually have Chosen. So, yeah, I mean, you know, we've obviously chosen Chaos. So, <laughs> uh, all the terrible, terrible jokes are coming in today for some reason. 
don't exactly know why, but there you go. That's what's happening, and and that's it. That is a very easy fight indeed. I mean, that's exactly what happens. When you pick to fight a vassal that really has not had a chance to recuperate themselves, this is exactly what happens. But yeah, unfortunately I haven't been able to sell my prisoners just yet, which is a bit of a shame, but oh, Oggy Boggy has advanced in level. It's about time, Oggy Boggy. Good work. Good work, sir. Let us level up his first aid. I'm actually just going to leave his skill points solely for leveling up medical skills because mm, maybe in the next level we'll spec into something, but that's only because intelligence is obviously giving those two skill points for us to spend. So I'm going to spec him into a little bit in one-handed as well, and I'd like to actually give him something. He's using a club at the moment, which is not very good. He can't use this because... It has a strength requirement. Oh, that is not very good. Oh, well, never mind. That's absolutely fine. There's another Chosen. We have six Chosen right now, which is, I think, our highest that we've ever had. And I'm just continuing to level up strength with our companions as well. And eventually, I actually do have enough money, but eventually I am going to want to buy another Enterprise, get some armor for those guys, get some additional gear and weapons and all that sort of thing, and actually make a good go of it, because those fellows really don't have the means to actually defend themselves at the moment. I don't want to join in a naval battle here. I don't think it is a naval battle, so let's move in to help Chaos Lord Breakfast. I think he, I think he probably needs it. Yes, there we go. Ooh, this is a nice battlefield. I like this battlefield quite a bit, in comparison to, well, mountainous ones. I'm not a big fan of mountainous ones, but this is actually giving them a bit of an advantage, I think. Actually, maybe not. I actually thought that we didn't have... Well, that guy's massive. Yeah, anyway. I actually thought that we didn't have that many cavalry, but it seems like we are the ones bringing cavalry here, because Chaos Lord Breakfast actually only has three cavalry, so... Well... He's going to have to do a, a pretty decent job with them. And he also has a Herald of Corn, which is pretty crazy. And I actually think I chose I chose that banner, didn't I? I chose a banner with one of the Herald of Corn on it, or Corn himself, or whatever the case may be. But anyway, I think I'm just going to tell everyone to charge in here, because they're a bit far behind. We have a bunch of Chaos Trolls, don't we? Yeah, it's very nice to see them. Now, these cavalry that the enemy have, if they run into this water right here, they will never be able to use their lances. And, of course, that is their biggest strength. Hey, come on now, don't do that bear riding person. That's not very nice of you. Okay, yeah, apparently they all want to kill me, which is not very nice, but I don't blame them. I don't blame them, that is how it is. Erasmus, he now has some armor, and I actually have read your comments uh, about Erasmus staying naked and uh, I might actually might actually have to remove his armor for this reason because <laughs> uh, it, it's kind of it's kind of necessary isn't it to, to keep up the joke so maybe we have to do that if I can remember to do it I'll do it after this battle so that we can actually give his armor to someone that might actually need it a little bit more like one of our other companions because obviously they're using all same sort of low-level pit fighter gear, and it's kind of painful to watch them run around like that. So it would be kind of nice to maybe get something to help them out a bit. And if that means taking from the... Uh, what is it now? Rank 1 most handsome man ever, then uh, <laughs> I, I suppose that's how it's going to have to be. He's like, yes, I've got armor on. Little does he know. Little does he know that we are going to be... Oh yes, we're going to be taking it. Or, or, or are we? I mean, that's the thing. If we if we take it, is he going to be sad? Is he going to be sad about that? Because I don't really want him to be sad. That's, that's not very good. But anyway, let's level up our power strike. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know whether I want to level up my power strike or my iron flesh or maybe my riding skill. Let's go for some more riding skill. I think it would be kind of nice to be able to actually ride something a little bit better than the basic horses. So let's see if we can do that. And we did have Luster level up now as well. And I mean, you can see here that these guys are actually turning into some pretty big beasts in terms of their stats. But their armor, look at this. This armor is just absolutely awful. So I suppose what we're going to have to do 
is do the deed. Yes, he is going to. Wow, wow, that that. Yeah, we we didn't want to see that. We didn't want to see that, did we? No, that was that was a little that was a little bit too much information <laughs> for our visual cortexes, wasn't it? Anyway, I'm going to actually give this to Antrax because he's our oldest companion. He doesn't have twelve strength. What? He doesn't have 12 strength? I'm actually very surprised. Anyway, okay, apparently Luster is going to be getting it, and I'm actually going to be giving him one of these, because that's much better for him. He doesn't have a shield. I'm going to have to get him one, or maybe we'll just give him a two-handed. I did find this this guy, by the way. I don't actually know whether I told you, but apparently, yeah, I'm going to be using him as well, because he's a beast man, and uh, Chaos do tend to get on with beast men relatively well as far as I'm aware so yeah I think that's a pretty decent idea now let's actually just take a look here Kislev Inquisitors 57 of them might be kind of nice to fight them but I think at the moment we can kind of just leave them well alone and Chaos Lord Breakfast only has 89 in his army so I think it would be wise for him to retreat now and I'm actually going to try and get over to my boat so I can finally... Are you serious right now? Wow, okay. Anyway, so I can finally get it away from the coast of the Kislev. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. I have 26 cavalry. I literally have no ranged units whatsoever. I'm actually kind of... Uh, a bit curious to see and actually learn whether the Chaos have ranged units. I actually don't think they do. I think they might, but I haven't leveled any of those up, so obviously we're not going to be seeing any of them. But these guys are going to die very, very easily. And uh, I think we might be able to get to the next level very quickly if we're able to take out some of the highest ranked... Wow, can't see anything, can't see anything. Yes, highest ranked enemy units, I was going to say. At the moment, it seems pretty fine. I mean, I did I charge them all in? I think I want to charge them all in. Thank you very much. I mean, I'm basically not really able to do too many things in the way of strategy or tactics or anything. Because, I mean, basically the most complex thing I can do is tell our cavalry to kind of stand off to the side and then come in for a flanking maneuver. And... I can't really do that very easily at the moment because I don't have a horse myself. So once I have a horse myself, I should be able to do more things like that and actually have a good old fun time in the process. So now that we have a bunch more space, for some reason, not entirely sure how that happened, but now that we have a bunch more space, I'm actually going to be taking all of these rescued prisoners, even though I didn't actually plan on gaining these guys in the first place, but that patrol decided to run into us anyway. Ooh, that guy is a beast. Yeah, he has two, over 200. 212. Wow. Okay, we probably don't want to fight him anytime soon. Thank you very much. But anyway, let's go into our boat here. And we're going to be able to hopefully get over to our sock. Yes. Mm. Okay, so let's go over there. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and prevent this village from being raided. And I know what you're thinking. That's going to be an impossible task reformist, isn't it? And, uh, well, it probably is, but it might lend itself to giving us some entertainment. And by that I mean, hopefully people are going to come along that we can actually defeat, and we'll be able to take them prisoner, and gain some cash from that, gain some renown, and just in general, have something to do. Because at the moment, we're a vassal. What do we need to do? We need to help the... The kingdom to remain prosperous and uh, <laughs> maybe we'll do a little bit of raiding here and there as well because honor I don't know whether that really matters to us not really does it so let's see what we can do here all right so we can build something what do we want to build a village watch what does that do hire a watch to protect your citizens and maintain the safety of the land well I, I, I could definitely tell the time with a watch but I don't think it's gonna really help us to protect our citizens that much I'm kidding, obviously. Okay, so hire an apothecary. Hire an apothecary to tend to the ill and needy. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how that helps. Boost your economy through local mining. That would take a whole month. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Uh-huh. A shrine is a small place of worship. 
And then a messenger post, we know what that does. A watchtower, yeah, okay. And village prosperity by 5%. Oh, a mana lets you rest at the village and pay your troops half wages while you rest. That might actually be really good for us at the moment, because we are obviously going to be sticking around here for a little bit of time, so being able to rest is a pretty good idea. So, let's have a look. How much grain? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, fine. How much grain do you need? I've got to meet a spy in Middenheim, actually, which we're very close by to. Oh, they only need four packs. Four packs of grain. Do I not have any grain? I have one, one pack of grain. Ah. Uh, that, that makes me a bit sad. Alright, so I tried to sneak into Middenheim. As you can see, it was not successful. And I'm now going to have to fight our way out. So let's see if I can actually do that. I mean, I've done that a number of times already in attempts to do some kind of prison break. And the main problem with this right now is that I am against Empire units. And I'm not entirely sure how good they are in comparison to Kislev units. So this is going to be a bit interesting. And kind of annoying, actually, because they are all poking me in the face, and I don't really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Can I, can I please? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Come on, kill, kill him. Kill him now. Thank you. Okay. Was that it? Yes. Okay. Phew. Phew. Okay. Thank you. That was, that was great. All right. So, now we need to take a walk around the streets. And we need to meet the spy. Oh, this is... Are you serious? <laughs> They're basically putting us in here with the exact armor that I'm wearing. I'm I'm obviously a chaos, aren't I? A, a chaos. Now I'm obviously a member of the chaos faction. Has asked you to meet with a spy in Middenheim, and I don't. Do I remember what I have to say to the spy? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if I do. Well, this is going to be amusing if I don't, but if I do, then it's going to be a miracle. Mm, no, it's... Mm, I, I don't think it's the armoire dancers at midnight, is it? I don't think it is. Mm, or is it? Is it this? The wind blows hard from the... Nah, it's, it's not that guy anyway, I don't think. The armoire dancers at midnight. Uh, I think it's the armoire dancers at midnight, so I'm probably just going to try that with many people. And we'll see whether... Ah, but does he dance for the dresser or the candlestick? Chaos Lord Krivliov sent me to collect your reports. Do you have them with you? This is very, very covert, isn't it? I've been expecting you. Here they are. Make sure they reach Chaos Lord Krivliov intact and without delay. What? Who are you to talk to me, townsman? Ah, uh, yes, well, anyway, we can now go into the marketplace and sell them some gear, because that's what we want to do as a spy, obviously. They actually have some salt here that I might want to buy, and do they- oh, wait a minute, do they have some grain? Ah, oh, they do have some grain, but only a, a very small amount of it. Ah, uh, oh well, never mind, let's just buy a little bit of food. Anyway, because we're going to be spending a bit of time around here and it might make sense. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a little bit more. Just to make sure that we're okay for the foreseeable future. Alright, so we've done that. And I suppose what would make sense now is for me to go to one of the nearby villages and see if they have some grain for sale. <laughs> Should we try to buy some from them? Or we could literally... Exquisite wool. For 2,400. That's that's very, very expensive. Okay, so there's General Bernhardt. Hmm. Hello there. You've just been defeated in battle. I seem to have the upper hand. So, you know what this means? This means that I'm going to be chasing him. And he's going to be going into this town. Yes, he is. Oh, well, never mind. Well, being in Empire territory is going to be a pretty threatening existence. And we're going to have to leave this episode here. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.